It's been no secret that I have been extremely busy. With me being a father for my children, returning back to work full time, and hunting season starting, I practically have no time left. Hence why the videos have become rather sparse on my channel. And I would also be lying if I didn't say that I have went through a stage of being demotivated and kind of just needed to take a step back after everything went down. I know that I've left you without a ton of video content, but the last thing I want to do is leave you with some broken add-ons that you use on a regular day-to-day -day basis for your Minecraft world. So with that being said, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix those broken add-ons. Well, at least the most basic version of that. And I'll cover just about everything that you need to know whenever a beta API breaks the most common ways that they break, and how you're going to fix them in this video. With that being said, enough jibber jabber, let's get into it. So I just recently made this brand new world, and inside of this new world I enabled beta APIs, that way I can use the specific beta API add-ons. And I have also added one of my most popular behavior packs, which is the free cam add-on. And as you can see, the free cam add-on is working just like it should. But this video is not about the free cam add-on working. This video is about fixing it when it breaks. So let's break it. So the very first thing that you want to do is make a copy of your add-on and you're going to place this copy on the desktop or somewhere that's safe that is not in the Minecraft system. That way you cannot accidentally delete it. Now, whenever you have your add-on, it will most likely be like this. I know I'm going to get a ton of questions in the comments down below. And yes, you do have to have a computer or mobile phone to do this. Unless you could find a way on a console to directly edit the text, you're going to have to transfer it over to a computer or a phone to make these changes. Working with consoles are very difficult because they're constantly trying to make it where you have to buy the add-ons from the store instead of being able to just import them onto your console. The easiest way as of now is to use Realms. So on your computer, you would basically download the world from Realms. Then you would add the pack onto that and then you would upload it back onto the realms and then download it onto your console. It's kind of a convoluted and discombobulated way of doing it, but it does work and I'm sure that there's still some other methods that you can use. However, you should just be able to do a quick YouTube search and find an updated video and hopefully that will walk you through it. So back to changing the add-on, what do we need to do? First and foremost, we need to rename this from a MC add-on to a zip file. Now a MC add-on is basically a proprietary zip file for Minecraft. So renaming it is just changing the file name. However, it's not going to change anything inside of the file, which is good because we don't want anything to break. Now at this point you are going to extract all and I would just extract it to the folder location that you're in. So I have this here. I no longer need this. So I can go ahead and delete this zip file and just have the folder here. Now I'm going to double click and go into this folder and I will make you aware this does always add another folder in whenever you do this process. I don't know why, but you do need to look out for it because this can cause your add-on to break as well. I'll go over that more in detail later in the video. So you're going to click this folder and what we want to focus on is going to be this manifest folder that is going to allow the game to identify the add-on and basically add it into your world. So that begs the question, what exactly breaks in this file? Well, instead of giving you a fish and letting you have dinner for one night, I'm going to teach you how to fish. That way you can figure this out for yourself. Metaphorically, of course. So how do we figure out what breaks in here? Well, that's going to start with going back to Minecraft. So what we're going to do is minimize this, and we need to find this folder here. This folder being the Development Behavior Packs folder. In order to find this folder, we're going to exit out of here. You're going to navigate to your com.mojang folder. We're going to double click this, and then you're going to find development behavior pack. Double click this, and now you can see the familiar folder that we started with at the beginning of the video. This is where you're going to put your behavior pack add-on in order to make changes to it. So just to clarify, the behavior packs is going to change how the game works, and then you have resource pack, which is going to allow you to change how the game looks. Because FreeCam changes how the game works, and it does things like spawns entities in with the entities file here, and also changes functions and also some JavaScript in there. This is going to be a behavior pack, which is going to change how the game works. So once you put your pack in here, you are going to click the folder and then you're going to keep clicking the folders until you get to this section here. Now, depending on the pack that you're fixing, it may or may not have the entities folder, functions folder, or even a pack icon. It really just depends on who made the pack and what the pack is doing. If it is a beta API pack, then you are at least going to have the manifest and the script. So once you have located this file, you are going to go back one. You are going to cut this, which is going to copy and then delete this. And then you're going to go back to your root development behavior packs folder and you're going to paste it here. 
that's basically going to take that folder that was self-generated with everything in it and it's going to paste it here so now we only have one folder so whenever we click on this we don't get that folder that was generated by the zip file so in other words whenever you click this it will go straight into the actual folder which is perfect that's exactly what we want now we just need to load up minecraft however before we do you're probably wondering why are we putting it in this folder why is this folder any different than the folder that is inside of your minecraft world here that would have your behavior packs on it well whenever you load this into the world here it's basically going to load the pack and the packs are as they are loaded nothing can be changed inside of these when the game is running you have to basically reload the pack onto minecraft in order for those changes to take place well inside of this development behavior packs folder when the game loads it's going to load this manifest file this manifest file is only loaded when the game is started however these other files if we are making the actual code and we need to reload something to test it out we can actually change these on the fly and run the reload command in minecraft and that will basically allow us to edit it in real time not really relevant for this video so much however it is very very useful and it is almost a necessity it really saves a lot of time so before we go any further we're going to make a copy of this and put it on our desktop as well so now we have a quick copy of this and the reason I'm doing that is because whenever I go into Minecraft here, I want to go to the world and I want to remove the pack that I'm working on. So you can see that I have the free cam active on here. I want to deactivate that and remove the pack anyways. And then I want to go into my settings all the way down here to storage. And I want to remove these packs that have been downloaded into the game. If you have a old version of the pack, it can cause issues. So I do highly recommend getting rid of these. However, I will show you the reason why I made a copy of this here just for demonstration purposes. You'll notice that this is now gone because the development behavior packs will actually put a new pack in there. Deleting that will actually delete it out of this folder and that's something that you need to be very careful with. You want to delete the old ones that are stored in Minecraft. However, be careful because if you put any of those in this development behavior packs folder and you haven't made a copy of them, you're going to delete them without knowing. And yes, I did learn this the hard way. So now that we know that there is no free cam add-ons on our Minecraft, what we can do is move this back over here. And it's always good just to make a copy of this. You do also have a copy of that add-on if you need it, which is basically the same thing. It just saves a couple steps there. And since we put it back inside of this development behavior packs folder, you're going to notice that it's going to be back in Minecraft. So we can go to play, we can go to our world and edit it. We can go all the way down here to the behavior packs. And as you can see, we have the free cam 1.1.4 back. Ignore the 1.5 because this is the new updated one that I have removed for demonstration purposes. So we know that this one is basically the one that is in that development resource pack folder. So we're going to activate that. And then you want to check the active and make sure that it was indeed activated onto your world. And we're going to hit play. So what have we accomplished? Well, really nothing. We've put a broken pack on the world. We hit period free cam. It's not changing any of it. It's not working. So we're kind of at a standstill. How do we fix it? Well, we use these lovely tools that Mojang has provided for us. And this might be a tab that you're unfamiliar with. This is the creator tab. We're going to click this and then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to enable the content log file and the content log GUI. We are now going to go back and we are going to resume the game. And now if you remember, I said that manifest file only loads whenever the game is first launched. So we are essentially just going to save and quit the game and then we're going to go right back into it. These are things that's going to pop up from the core Minecraft game, just ignore those. And what we want to focus on is only the things that are relevant to the pack that we're working on. So you are either going to hold Control and H to bring up your content log history, or if you're on mobile, you can also navigate through the settings, go back to that creator tab, and then there's also the content log history where you can access that here. These are from the core Minecraft game. What we want to do is scroll up until we see stuff that relates to FreeCam. So now that we've scrolled up, we see that there was a plugin FreeCam run failed, no runtime or context available. Before you try to fix anything, you want to take care of these that are saying the server UI and the server. This is showing that there is a problem inside of the manifest file. This is going to be the most likely thing that's going to break whenever Minecraft updates the version because generally whenever they update it, they're adding new stuff into these. And with the new stuff that they add, they want to update the version number. That way it doesn't get confused with the old versions. 
You might notice that some add-on packs do not need to update and others do. That's because FreeCam is one of the packs that are still using some of the code that is in beta. Beta meaning that it's still in the process of being tested and it has not been released to a full version yet. As soon as I'm able to and all of the code that FreeCam utilizes is released out of beta, then I'll be moving it to a stable version number. And at that point, you won't need to update it nearly as often. However, until then, it will still remain under beta, and with every new beta increase on the version number, this will need to be done in order to fix the pack. So let's actually take a look at what we're reading here. This is showing that there's a scripting error for the plugin FreeCam, and this is showing that it's requesting an invalid module version. This is saying that the manifest is set to the 1.14 beta, and it's showing the available versions here. Now, because this has to remain in beta, we can only increase this to the beta. I'm assuming that we can do the alpha as well. However, I have not researched this, so I would use the beta. So we essentially need to bump this number up from 14 to 15, and that's going to be the Minecraft server module. And we also need to update this one down here, which is going to be the Minecraft server UI. It's showing that it's a 1.3.0 beta and it's showing that the one available is 1.4.0 beta. So this one needs to be bumped up as well. So at this point, we need to clear this and then we can exit out of this. We can bring up our development behavior packs folder. We can go into here and find the manifest. And then we want to scroll down and you can see under dependencies, we have Minecraft server and also Minecraft server UI. If it was printing out the Minecraft server game test, this would need to be updated as well. However, since it did not flag this, this is going to be perfectly fine. So you can change the Minecraft server. This needs to be changed to 15. This needs to be changed to the four for the 1.4.0 beta. And this is all the changes going to need to be done in order to make it work. Now, what I do recommend is you are going to want to bump this up by one which is going to be the version number. So this will be 1.1.5. And this is basically changing the version number of the pack that I created. And then to be consistent, we're also going to change this up here. That way it shows you the name of the pack that you're installing. That way you don't get the new pack confused with the old pack if the old pack is on the Minecraft still. So at this point, we are going to hit either Control S or we are going to hit Save. Both of those will save this file. And then we are going to exit out of these and then we're going to go back into the game. Now I do also want to make this clear. If I run the reload command, we get the same problem that pops up. And the reason for this is as stated, that manifest file is only loaded whenever the game is loaded. So in order to make the manifest file changes take place, we need to save and quit. And then we need to go back into the game. Now that we're back into the game, if we go back into that content log and scroll up, you will see if you've done everything correctly. You only have all these from Mojang. You don't have any from FreeCam, which is wonderful. So if we go to clear and then we type period FreeCam, you'll see that it goes into FreeCam mode. FreeCam works just the way that it should because this add-on is now up to date with the new versions of the beta API system, which is wonderful. Well, what happens if you have another thing that pops up on your Minecraft console log printing out a different error? Well, let me show you what happens. So for example, I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna go into script and let's just go into, let's say free cam. This is going to be some of the code that makes free cam work behind the scenes. But for example, I'm going to take the P for players and I'm just going to change this from a lowercase to a capital P. And then I'm going to save that. This is how easy the code will break. So if they change anything on Minecraft side, as far as the reference values, that's going to break the code. So now if I reload this and then try to go into free cam, you can see that we go into free cam, but it's now printing out an issue. And that issue is going to affect this pack somehow. Although it might work somewhat, it might not work the entire way that it's intended to. So I change that back. That way we don't have an issue with that. But if we go down here and change this one to a capital P instead of the lowercase, that's going to affect things on a much greater scale. So if we go in here and reload that and then try to go into free cam mode, you can see it's not going to work at all. We're going to get the printout, but it's not going to put us into free cam mode. So all it takes is just a subtle change in the code in order to break the entire pack. In the event that you have the codes printing out like this, where you have a different reference value, 
unless you want to learn javascript or try to find a way to kind of learn as you go and make your way through this to fix it it's going to be very difficult to fix unless you understand what you're looking at i would advise at that point to reach out to the pack creator and see if they're able to fix it so with that being said as far as the reference errors if you have any of those that's going to need to be fixed by the developer of the add-on pack and if you have the error that was showed at the beginning of the video showing the minecraft server needs to be updated now you know how to fix it and this is of course really handy to know because well now you don't just have to wait for me although i am going to be still fixing my packs as quickly as possible but my life is pretty busy and it might take me a couple hours to a couple days to get those packs fixed for you so now at least you have the method of actually knowing how to fix this if it is just a simple manifest update that way you can get back to using your add-ons any questions or concerns please drop them down inside the comments below or you can reach out to me on my public discord all of the links for that is going to be down inside the description below as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye